All right, we're continuing our road trip all around the state this summer. And today we're in Hartford County. We're talking about how to have a great day in Southington. Here's our Lauren Richardson with more. All right, yeah, we are going to check out three places to go in Southington today. We're going to start off with a little bit of a history tour at the Barnes Museum. They've got some really beautiful rooms there. So let's go and take a look. Okay, here we are at the Barnes Museum. I'm super excited. I've heard great things about this place. Oh, you must be Christina. Hi, I'm Hi. Christina. Nice, nice, to, nice to, meet to meet you. So tell me a little bit about, let's walk into the first room over here because yes. it is just so phenomenal. Um, tell me a little bit about the history of this museum. Yeah, so this is the Barnes Museum, one of Southington's oldest houses. It was built in 1836 by Eamon Bradley, who was an industrialist here in town. He owned a factory not too far from here. Um, and raised his family here. As oh. his wealth grew, so did the house, and today it's set in the Gilded Age style. So, 17 rooms full of original artifacts from the family. Oh wow, okay, wait, I know you wanted to show me something really cool. Yes, Let's something go check it out. very cool, okay. let's go see. Oh my gosh, wow, Christina, where are we? This is a beautiful room. This is a truly remarkable room. This was Leela Barnes's former conservatory. Leela lived in the house from 1910 until 1952, and then her husband got what we call goblet fever. Um, <laughs> he began collecting these goblets in the 1930s, and today we have one of the largest collections in the country with over 1,200 early American press glass goblets, many of which you see here today, and at the right time of day, around sunset, this is the best room to be in, oh, in the I'm house. Sure. It's That's, gorgeous. It's, it's so gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, well, I also heard there's a really cool piano to see. Oh, my goodness. Yes, okay. you don't see these very often. So let's, let's go, go check it out. All right. This is obviously the music room. And, uh, Christina, this piano is beautiful. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is an original Steinway Pianola Player Piano from 1913. Uh, Bradley Barnes paid for it in two installments because mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to be sure that it would work when he got it, which is why we still have the box that it came in in case we need to return it. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, I hear it still works. So let's roll on to our next spot in Southington. Go ahead, Christina. Take it away. I think you'll like this one. I just can't wait to show you the next place that we are at. And this is really cool. If you like the Lion King, if you like a safari theme, I mean, check out this topiary. Uh, it's up to 18 feet tall. You can actually see a Simba at the top of it. And uh, yeah, this is a Lion King themed outdoor space at Kava in Southington. And I'm here right now with the general manager. Hi, Tony. How are you, Lori? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, this is such a cool space. So tell me a little bit about this theme, like what you guys specifically did here. So we tried to create an environment that would like immerse you in the Lion King by still keeping it classy and elegant with all of our, um, we have about 80 of these basket lights, all the hanging baskets. Uh -huh. It's really, really nice. Let's check out another spot over here. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Now tell me about the food that you also serve here too. You have Italian food. So we have Italian food along with steaks. We have a full raw bar, perfect for summers along with uh, main entrees and appetizers. Okay, so speaking of the food and drink, we're gonna make a special drink. You said this is called the Love Potion, right? Yes, this is our okay. Love Potion with green tea, vodka, Ooh, it's strawberry smoking. juice, strawberry puree. It's cool. really cool and fun for the summer. Oh my gosh. Well, I feel like we need a good spot to taste this, right? So let's go to the, the cool spot you were talking about overlooking Southington. Let's go. Yep. Okay, of course I have to try this. Hakuna Matata. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Thank you. Wow, and we have the view of Southington in the background. We also have another beautiful room over here too. You can enjoy, right? Yes, of course. There's a beautiful fireplace. We light it on the uh, cooler nights. Oh, nice. All right, well, I'm going to head to my next location. Thanks so much, Tony. This was a blast today. Thank you for coming. Thanks. All right, game on. We are here at Gamecraft Arcade in Southington. So this is a great spot to kind of end the entire day. You can see all these pinball machines here. They have total about 60 different games you can play. All right, I'm going to go right over here. I see a new friend, Brody, right? You are the manager here? Yes, I am. Hi, Brody. Manager, owner, a little bit of everything. Oh, wow. So. All right, well, tell me a little about this awesome spot. I mean, this, there's so much to do here. I can see that. Yes. 
<laughs> There's a lot. Hopefully, I mean, it was built with the idea that there should be hopefully a game or something for everybody, even if you're a retro arcade enthusiast or as I've become primarily mm -hmm. a big pinball player, which is mm -hmm. all I do here now. Or if you've never played either of those, no interest. We have stuff at the bar for you, like yeah. you know, play four-player Mario Kart with your friends or Smash Brothers on the Switch. What are the classics here that you ooh, have? Ooh. Um, let's see. Pac-Man, Galaga, Donkey oh. Kong, Frogger, Tetris, okay. Burger Time. Um, really, any of those, I guess I would call them like the top 10 class that most people would recognize, we okay. made sure to go out and get them. Cool. So. All right. Well, I would love to see one of the most popular games. Do you want to sure. go play? Uh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Let's go. Okay, so I know there's a couple roles that you guys have here specifically. Yes. Yep, uh, the biggest one is you do have to be 21 to enter. We do that Monday through Saturday. We are family friendly on Sundays, however. Okay. Uh, big rule there is that you do have to be with a parent. So, you know, if you're 18, you can't come in alone. It's still a bar first. So as long as you're with a parent, you're allowed in here. So it gives, you know, families a chance to show, like, their kids what they grew up on. Which is, which the main is really cool. That we did it. Which yes. is really, really cool. All right. Well, I am ready to play when we are ready to go. Yep. Oh, uh, man, it's been a while. I don't know if you ever did four-player Pac-Man before. Well, two-player. I have not. Okay. Same rule. Let's do this. Get the pellets. Don't get eaten. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to continue to play this. It was a fun day in Southington, and I'll see you next time. Pac -Man. I love Pac-Man. I, love Pac -Man. I like Miss Pac-Man too. What a fun day in Southington. For more information on the places Lauren visited, head to the WFSB.com and click on the great click on Great Day. Yes. Get the ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> All right.